This is the Red Magic 8 Pro, and right now you're seeing is me using the shoulder triggers. It's super responsive, and it has 520 hertz. So basically, every time you tap on it, it actually responds super fast. But anyways, this is Jokesta, and this is my review for the Red Magic 8 Pro. Shout out to Red Magic for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description to pick up your Red Magic today. And uh, yeah, let's get right into today's review. So the looks of this phone is incredible. I love the fact that it has like a little boxy design. It isn't really like curved or anything. It actually feels really good in your hands. So as I was playing uh, ranked matches, I really fell in love with this device. I really did. I was like, wow, this thing is incredible. And this is me using the shoulder triggers, but um, in the gameplay that you guys are gonna be watching, the rank gameplay, I wasn't using shoulder triggers at that time. Um, but after rank matches and a couple days later, I started to try out the shoulder triggers. And this is the current way I'm using it. This is like the up-to-date um, style that I've got gotten used to. So um, maybe in the future, I might make another video with me using the Red Magic 8 Pro and with the shoulder triggers. I really, really enjoy it. And I think you guys, if you if you are like a gamer and you're like trying to find the best gaming device, this is the one for you guys because it has so many features and I'm going to go over everything in today's video. I'll be talking about all the specs that we will show on the screen and um, yeah, let's get right into it. So this is just a free for all gameplay and um i hope you guys enjoyed that but when you order your red magic you get this box and another one right here is zamora this is a character that they kind of based around and it is an ai and i'm going to show you guys a little bit more about that in this video so there will be like an app that you guys can interact with this ai so um this is the unboxing of me using the red magic it comes out like this it's incredible like the packaging i was just like i was falling in love with this thing so um, it comes with the warranty card. It comes with a case as well. So if you're, you know, a gamer and you really like to go around with your phone, this case is awesome for it as well. You get a charger. You also get a wall charger as well. And um, yeah, it's really good chargers because they charge up really, really fast. So uh, you get this QR code where you can find them and if you want to follow them. Um, this is just me unwrapping the phone itself. I love. I love the packaging that they have for Red Magic. It's just incredible. So yeah, this thing is packed with a Snapdragon 8. So this is like the top of the line. It has a 6.8 uh, screen size. It is incredible. Everything about this that you guys are seeing, like look at the square design. It is incredible. I think this is currently the best gaming phone out there in the market. If you're thinking about getting one, this is it. You know, this is, this is, this is the top of the line. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's no delay. It has 960 Hertz touch sampling rate, which is incredibly fast. It also has like ice 11 cooling system and it cools down your phone while you're gaming. And that's the thing when I was playing on this phone, not even once the phone got hot, not even once it didn't even feel warm. It just, it felt like normal. Like I was playing for three hours and, um, trying to film some gameplays. And this is just literally, you know, um, me using it. This is the Mora uh, AI system. So you can actually see like all the stuff right here. Um, now this is the plugin library. This is the best part. The software on this Red Magic phone is incredible. They have all these things and I'm showing you guys everything. Sound equalizer. If you want to hear footsteps better, you can have investigated mode, which kind of zooms in a little bit. You, ho you have like so many features as you guys can see. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap this review up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and show you guys the gameplay. So before we get into the gameplay, I want to actually show you the stats for anybody wondering what are the stats here is the stats, everything you need to know about this phone, um, straight up. It's, it's incredible. It's super fast. Everything, um, wise, like phone wise is right here on the screen. Um, but now we're going to go into the gameplay and I'm going to talk about what I felt about this game and how it runs with the game. So let's get right into that. Today we're playing on terminal. This is my first game playing with this phone. I actually had to adjust it first of all on free for all a couple games earlier, but this is my first rank match after I corrected all my HUD, every settings that I needed for the game. And as you guys can see, I'm playing really passive because I don't know how these guys are going to play. And I'm trying to make sure I get used to the phone. So this is my rank match and I'm just like super, super um, focused up trying to get a good game. Um, but anyways, the point is we got a few gameplays here. The I think three, three gameplays so far. 
and you guys are probably probably wondering like how many fps can you get on this game well see call of duty hasn't really updated their game to have more than 90 fps so when i was playing on this phone i was able to get 90 fps maxed out and using ultra or actually not ultra i was using ultra frame rates but not the maxed out graphics i was actually using low or medium graphics or low graphics and i was able to play perfectly fine there was no heat uh it was actually pretty cool as well like the cooling fan cooled down the phone really fast like i wasn't even having any heat moment and um at the time i was just playing like what eight or seven games or something like that and um and overall like i had no issues none like even if i had a charging um there was a, a slight like if you're charging your phone just if you leave it there it would charge up so incredibly fast like it charged the phone in like five minutes literally like i was at 60 percent and it charged up to 95 in like five minutes and i was just surprised but um it was really fast it was it was super quick but anyways the point is um this phone is very good for gaming number one the shoulder triggers is incredible i have never seen a phone have this much like responsive in a trigger before like back then i've used other red magics but um this one in particular has 520 hertz so it is really really responsive like super if you touch it just a tap it will right away be you know doing whatever you want it to do right um and you have to adjust it to what you want those buttons to do so i had to adjust it and you can actually use a lot of you can actually manipulate this thing in a way that you can have seven fingers six fingers um using this so it's like i kind of want to experiment a little bit and try this out because i really liked it i was like bro this is my main device now for uh daily use and for gaming when i'm not even streaming or making videos this is something i would probably use um and that's the number two part is the shoulder triggers is incredible the number one was of course the fps it's 90 fps if you want to try that it's maxed out it's, it's incredible um uh, number three thing that i wanted to mention was that it doesn't get hot like if you play with this phone there's it barely ever gets warm like it's incredible i was just like wow this thing is actually like cool um so that is another thing that you can think about if you're actually interested in going for that um another thing to mention is the screen the screen is completely different compared to other phones other phones are using oled display right but this one is actually using the om uh omled i think yeah i think omled or i might be mispronouncing it but it's AO, a, I mean, it's AMO LED. So OMLED or something like that. Um, and it just incredible. It's, it's so different. Coloring is different completely. So I really like that. Another thing to mention is if you want to use this as a daily phone, like maybe you have um, something that you want to send a picture, right? To your friends, uh, or you're using Snap or whatever you're using, like social media, you want to take videos, whatever. The camera quality on this thing is incredible like we're talking about 50m for like pro grade main camera and um there's there's another camera i believe uh that really is incredible um but in general like i'm just surprised how well this phone works that's what i'm surprised about like usually phones don't really work well but this one was super responsive and as a gamer we're playing games all the time we want a phone that's actually responsive that it touches like as soon as you touch it it will respond and as you guys are watching my gameplay you see that i'm moving around with the joystick and everything another thing to mention is that i'm also recording inside the game as you guys can look at the very bottom left um right behind my thumb i'm actually recording the gameplay as i'm you know playing rank matches and um it's uh yeah i i just i'm just saying it's not getting warm at all like it is perfectly fine good good stuff uh graphic wise if i was to play on high graphics i would it would look so much better right but I'm, i prefer to play with more fps um and i know that youtube doesn't really show that much fps it just shows a tiny bit uh like 60 fps is the max you can watch on youtube videos but I wish I could show you more. It is incredible. It's actually at 90 FPS. If anyone's wondering, like if you get this phone, yes, at 90 FPS. And I think the highest is uh, medium or low quality. I'm pretty sure. So um, if you want to do 90 FPS, but if you were to play 60 FPS, you would be on ultra graphics and that thing will be super, super bright. You will see a lot of things. Now, when it comes to BR, 
if you don't know um vr is a third person right game and it's like world it's like a map like a bigger map right you have to run around get all this stuff it actually works well with br as well so if you're thinking about playing br a lot this is a good phone um to try playing and in, in i guess like maybe low graphics or me medium graphics would be good as well if you're a mobile gamer just like myself uh we like to play on low graphics or medium graphics but with red magic a pro you could play ultra graphics and you'll be fine like that's what i'm saying like this phone is the top of the line type of phone and it's a serious gaming phone so if anybody wondering if you should get it definitely if you're looking for a gaming phone this is the way to go it has a lot of features um especially like mora which is the ai assistant you can actually stream i, I believe you can stream through it as well and upload videos or whatever um so at the end of the day i thought this phone was actually like one of my favorite phones to review i was i was kind of blown away i'm not gonna lie to you from going from red magic 5 4 yeah 4s coming from 4s 5 6 and then 7 and then all of a sudden an 8 pro comes out and the 8 is all-time best this is the best gaming phone out there i don't think there's any other gaming phones that can compete with this device this thing is incredible so yeah, this is a wrap for our second game. This is the third game that we're playing right here. It is on firing range and I'm going to let you guys watch it in peace and enjoy. I, um, I, I would let you guys, I, I kind of feel like a lot of people sometimes rather me not talk turned over these gameplays. So I'm going to let you guys watch this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it by leaving a comment down below, click the link in the description to pick up your red magic eight pro today. And uh, again, shout out to Red Magic for sponsoring this video and sending out a Red Magic for me to try out and see if I like it. And I absolutely loved it. So anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.